How is Yachty doing? <laughs> you called him lately? Yeah, I know. He's, he has his like, money and a bunch of shit, I think. Oh, just a little investing, dude? Yeah, a little, little, little. Just meeting investy. up with Andre Iguodala to, to put some money into some new tech startups? Yeah, man. These, these, these Lil's be fucking growing their money somehow. I know Lil Baby does some money shit. Lil Baby's He's a, righteous, man. He's a, he, I like him. He's a righteous dude. And then there's uh, Corday, the guy who raps like a rapper. Corday. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. He, the guy who looks like he's literally 14. Yeah, yeah. He's close to it. He's probably like 20. Dude, speaking like of Corday, uh, his girlfriend, Naomi Osaka. Oh, she had the, the, the girl, the tennis girl. Tennis girl. All right, Corday. She's the highest paid female athlete currently. Didn't she quit a tournament right now? Yeah. So what happened with that was she was in the French Open, and she doesn't like to do media appearances because of mental health. Whoa. Oh, okay. And then the <laughs> she, French she, Open she, was like, "Yo, we're gonna sign you. We're gonna fine you fifteen grand, which is literally nothing to her. But if you keep this up, Naomi, you're not gonna be in the Grand Slam. I mean, the French Open anymore." What? And then Naomi was like, all right, I'll make it easy for you guys. I don't want to play anyway. And now here we are. What entity can find her? What entity like is it like a PGA tour type thing? I, I don't know much about the French Open. I just know it's a very, it's like we're the best player. Who's this chick, dude? Who's that? I, I don't know. Is that her, the French overlord? I don't know. 23 year olds ranked number two, killing it, dude. Whatever Serena, here's Osaka, man. Four Grand Slam titles. I'm not exactly sure what a Grand Slam title is, but I think it's like multiple tournaments. Withdrew a decision she said made to prioritize her mental health. And then someone was like, hey, we're going to get, okay, here we go, here we go. Roland Garros. Who's Garros? Put the, let's put the, pieces together here no one knows who garros is is that that lady at the top roland garros another name for the french open responded by finding her fifteen thousand buckaroos 15 g's for declining to speak to the media and threatening with expulsion and then she's like i later dudes pretty much what's the note say on tweets well twitter saying Hey, everyone. This isn't a situation I ever imagined or intended when I posted a few days ago. I think now the best thing for the tournament, the other players, and my well-being is that I withdraw so that everyone can get back to focusing on the tennis going on in Perry. I never wanted to be a distraction. I accept that my timing was not ideal. My message could have been clearer. More importantly, I would never trivialize mental health or use the term lightly. The truth is that I have suffered long bouts of depression since the U.S. Open in 2018, and I have had a really hard time coping with that. Anyone that knows me knows I'm introverted. Anyone that has seen me at the tournaments will notice that I'm often wearing headphones as that helps dull my social anxiety. Though the tennis press has always been kind to me, I am a naturally not a natural public speaker. And it's just like, let me chill. And then she's like, I, I'm, I'm out of here. See ya. That seems like a very well written note, dude. She seems like a smart lady. Carday commented on the post. He said something like, you don't got to apologize to nobody, exclamation points. And I just thought to myself, damn, bro, you really trying to get late tonight, huh? 